be something, motherfucker. See what the shoe got going on today. Oh, the sun is coming out, some bitch. Must be a miracle. Cause it was snowing this morning. No shit. Anyway. Portable four ton jet, some bitch. Oh, some bitch. Oh, what the fuck we got going on here? 53 degrees, 229, Sunday, all day, even it rains. It's 27 outside. Oh, Dad needs a new pair of shoes, don't he? Um, it's 40 degrees. Humidity's 90%, 100%. And I can't find my garage keys because I laid them down somewhere and I don't fucking know where they are at right at the moment. Oh, Daddy, did I mention Daddy needs a new pair of shoes? Mm-hmm. This is a brother deal. There you go, it's a uh, 2002 Monte Carlo. Uh. No, it's not supposed to look like that. Um, no, we're not gonna replace the quarter panel. That isn't what I get paid to do. I get paid to repair mangled stuff. There you go. Um, let's get a little bird's eye view of this. It's got a little bigger gap here. It's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty something right there, huh? Yeah. Like I said, we're gonna hammer and dolly this. We, me, somebody, tag team partner, who? The mice? There you go, that shows a nice little blip. Let me try it again. So you blip. Oh, there you go. Oh, you can't see in the camera. That goes there. So, I actually kind of like these at first. Then I hate them. I'm gonna can't hurt them all. I like the reenactment the collision. This is what was told, and I believe it because you tell by the hubcap. Uh, car came in at 70 miles an hour and didn't see him and he touched him there and bounced off. I would have to say yes because if it came in this way it would have fucked up the tire. Tire matches the rest of them and the hubcap, this thing would have been mangled I would think. Anyway, it goes all the way back here. Good dent here, big dent. Big dent here, here, and there's actually one up here. This is all caved and this is all be pulled out and this has got to be pushed over and uh, so what I'll do is um, really um, don't really want to disturb this right here just don't want to because uh, then I have to 3M tape it on and I got 25 hours to do it in my world in and out so daddy can buy a new pair of shoes uh, let me see Yeah, I know collision place would just cut off and put a new quarter pad on it. I know this ain't no fucking collision place. Um, yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. 1-800, call Chevy. They'll fix it. Um, let's go and get a little birds out of you again. Um, my wife thinks it's bad when she's seen it out front. I don't think it's that bad. Um... Hell, I don't know. The hardest thing is, is I don't have a big enough soldering iron. I gotta try to weld these back together because that's not in the budget either. That one's still there. This one's hanging there. Need a white clip. Um, brought another ground effect off a of Grand Prix. Hopefully that is still the same ABS or whatever plastic's on it because they're both Chevy. So I can weld that together, we'll find out. And yeah, here we are. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Um, rules of engagement. Oh, I don't know. Um, i take the tire off. That's plastic. See what the fuck's there. Um, no, I'm not going to pull right here and pull the shit out. No. Um, probably what I'm going to do is tap it and let it not use any force at first. Pull it out. Slow but sure. First thing I want to get back in line is that. I want that pushed over. 
and everything else is just uh I think a lot of this will come out once it's get pulled. It's like a balloon. You push it on a balloon, you don't you don't see the air go anywhere, but it goes somewhere. So when it got hit here, it pulled this back when it got hit in here, and then it just when it that the metal had to go somewhere and flex. So that's where it went. Back here. I don't know what the last stuff is anyway. Um hopefully um I probably just clean that stuff all called day. Um, hopefully, we'll find out. Just spray this area. I don't know, we'll find out. It is what it is, what it's gonna to be tomorrow. And cut. Oh, supposed to cut. <laughs> oh, what we got going on here? Two hours and 27 minutes of hell. It, it's always like that. Um, at first it's okay, and then you start getting into it. And it is what it is. A piece of pizza and some orange crush. It's kind of flat. Um, this is ripped. 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 Um, needs to be heated up and bent back. Did I undercoat the job? Um, when don't I undercoat the job? But you know, I'm not complaining. Uh, here's what I noticed. It kind of blows. Um, oh Lord have mercy. We got to a point where it won't go anymore. Well, because there's always more damage, always. Um, it's up in here. Because you can tell. Let me see. You see where the, see where it fits tight? And then, there we go. We start getting, right there. We started getting a gap Um. There, there's a reason for the gap because uh, in theory uh, the inner panel stayed where it was supposed to and this it's a lot worse here than what I thought because these body lines really deceived me but anyway it took this and it just fucking pushed in here bowed out here pushed in here and it pulled this and I've been beating on the inside getting there uh, yeah it's fucking mince meat and I could tell that it it had been um, damaged for a long long time because my brother had bought this um, the girl that owned it had been damaged for a long time I'm gonna turn some light for you there you go because look at the rust um, it was pretty much gonna rust out anyway um, Lord have mercy. Because this is what I noticed underneath the ground effect. Um, and then you come to the one the clips just pulled right out. And just like a pretty girl with a makeup on. It can be very deceiving until the next morning. Um, I probably shouldn't have cut that. I was trying to release the tension. But now I should have left it there because so I can hammer it back out. Um, yeah. <laughs> when you got pinches, where are we at? Right here. Focus. Get your finger in there. There we go. Right there. Um, that's a real tight pinch and that's going to stop from everything from moving. Um, baby, probably going to have to slice it to release it. And then walk it back up because uh, it would be a lot easier if I had a fourth of a quarter. Yeah, um, they don't have them around here in this junkyard or whatever. Um, the more you look at anything, the more imperfections you've seen. I didn't think I was gonna have to go up above that by line, but I am because I didn't notice that it was dirt, so that's gonna be painted. And then right there, I want to hammer this this way. Well, uh, you can't you can't get to it because there's a different panel. And when you shove a screwdriver down there, it goes through here, and it hits here, not here. So, um, this is a support. You don't really want to cut all that shit. Oh, well, that's a trim piece. Okay. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is. Hog these fucking 
Spot welds out. Release it. Pry the bitch out. Um, that ain't long enough. But take a, a bar, grind it down to a point, and uh, slide it in between two panels. Slide down there so I can tag this. It needs to be tagged that way. Um, once this gets in line, it will allow everything to pop out. It's kind of hard when you're inside the car and seeing what you're hammering on. So basically by rights, it's going to get to a point where a stud puller can only pull so much. Um, this is pretty mangled. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, got to have this crease back in here and it's got to bow out and I don't know what I'm going to say I'm thinking this right here from over looks like pretty much like mince meat um, yeah might as well just put more metal in there I have to fab it up and um, it is what it is but it's going to be tomorrow and the, and the thing is it's not a parking lot car it's got to look good and I ain't gonna say it's gotta be right. I just gotta say that I'm not gonna put mud over these fucking holes. Was a parking lot car? Yep, I would. But this is a brother deal, and it's gotta last. And uh, see, so like that, where you got the good little chisel go through. You know, because at first you rolled cautious and stuff. After a while, it's like fuck it, you gotta move, bitch. Um, you gotta start rolling. Hmm. All right, fuck it. I'll be record a little bit later tonight, and then I'll probably be pissed off. <laughs> Can I get amen? A fucking amen. Really? Yeah, piece of shit. And I'm gonna cut this motherfucker short. Oh shit! Go on, see what I gotta say. We're gonna call it a day. And when the big dogs get all done eating, the even puppies get a piece of something, motherfucker. The big dogs, they fuck other people. They fuck anybody to get their money. The little dogs, the puppies, they earn their motherfucking keep. Can I get an amen on that? Anybody's offended? Fucking bomber. Write your congressman if you got a fucking bitch. Pizza something. Oh, am I in a good mood? I just got enough balls to say what the fuck I want to say. Amen.